Would the Honourable Minister please proceed with his statement? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker and Honourable Members of the Manitoba Legislature, it is my pleasure to rise in the House today to invite all Manitobans to recognize the importance of education in our communities and to celebrate this week as Education Week in Manitoba. Education Week provides us with an opportunity to take a moment and turn our attention to the excellent educators and schools we have in Manitoba. Many of us have spent time in classrooms learning the intricacies of literacy and numeracy, which is fundamental to all learning. This allows us to understand, to create, to communicate, and to interact with others and the world around us. We do not learn these things on our own. These literacy and numeracy life skills become our own through the guidance and perseverance, and talents, and support of educators and educational leaders in our schools and community. Madam Speaker, this government values our educators in Manitoba, so we are pleased to invite all of us to take this opportunity to extend appreciation to those who, know, who we know are involved in educational system. Madam Speaker, our government recognizes the strong education system is an important part of how, of how we build a stronger Manitoba. We know that our young people will determine the future of our province so that they deserve our best effort. That is why we're investing in priorities to support improved education for our students. Some of these highlights include early learning initiatives, enhancing early school educator training, and seeking greater alignment with the cradle to careers pro approach of education. We're co-creating a long-term literacy and numeracy strategy based on the feedback we received from Manitobans who uh, participated in our literacy and numeracy uh, summit. In March, we released the Manitoba Colleges Review, which highlighted several opportunities to enhance and modernize college education in our province by building on existing strength. We plan to work together, implementing several uh, key recommendations and work with others to develop long term. These are just some of the highlights of how our government and how staff in Manitoba Education Training are working in partnership with educators and educational stakeholders to help foster a culture of innovation and quality education here in Manitoba. This week and every week, educators and educational organizations are engaging in important discussions on how to work together and support student learning. I encourage all Manitobans to take this opportunity to thank them and celebrate the great work that our schools, communities, and, and provinces are accomplishing. Thank you, Madam Speaker.